So people always wonder, often wonder, where the flow diverter or bypass is on a heater. On this particular model, back behind here, or if you looked in here, you would see a plastic plate that on the original manufacturer was not very thick and over a period of time it uh, will break because it's just plastic. Uh, thus causing your heater to make loud banging knocking sounds when it's trying to heat because what happens is the water isn't able to flow into the unit properly and come out so it's diverting too much water out of the heater causing what does go in to actually develop steam within the heat exchanger uh, when that happens you it sounds like gravel inside or knocks and bangs what I'm going to show you is the difference between the old style and the new style but first and foremost you have to get through all these nuts off of the uh, header as you can see some of these are pretty darn rusted on there uh, when you get to that point if uh, they can't come off they will snap off as you try to take them out and if they do your heater is done for you can't replace it uh, it's a really pain in the butt to do so but what I'm going to show you is I'm going to take this header piece off and then I'm going to show you what the uh, diverter, flow diverter, looks like old versus new so you can see the difference. Okay, so what I've done is I removed all the, the nuts are up around here. And I cut this over here because this is an old heater I don't want to see or need anymore. So I removed all the nuts and I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. And you can see there's the the copper heat exchanger in there okay now if you take a look inside the header you've got the old baffle or the flow diverter as it's also called and on this particular model this is the old original one as you can see it's in pieces uh, there's a piece right there Here's the, uh, the thermostat that's in there that helps uh, regulate the flow of the water. And here is the other piece. This one's stuck in there pretty good. And it happens because they're so thin. See, that one just broke right off. See how thin that is? Piece of paper, practically. Get this other piece out of here. And there you have it. That is the flow diverter that uh, manages the amount of water going in and out of the heater and you can see it's pretty thin um, that's the way it came from the factory and over just years uh, obviously it's going to to wear and and break on it just like this one has now what I'm going to show you is the new one the new style that they've come out with that has been out for a long time this is a new one as you can see look how sturdy that is it's a pretty thick piece of plastic. It's not going to wear out, not going to break. So essentially what you'd end up doing is putting this back in is take this piece and uh, setting it back in here. Now this is an older unit so it's a little bit different but uh, essentially what you're going to have is something like this where it's going to slide back in there like that and uh, obviously this is going to be up underneath here as well. That's going to go in there like that. And this one's going to slide on there like that. And fits on there like that. That is the proper way to replace and repair the diverter on a Hayward heater. Uh, the old one, flimsy, no good. After a few years, it just breaks and falls apart, obviously, because it's plastic becomes very brittle from chemical use from the chemicals in the pool so if your unit's knocking and banging that's uh, a problem that you need to overcome is to replace that uh, diverter the other thing is when you got it off you can check the copper on this unit and see if it's pretty thick on this one it's very thick uh, so if you would replace that uh, diverter piece as long as you don't break anything taking it out uh, you'd be able to repair your heater get it back operational no more knocking and banging and uh, everybody's happy thanks for watching